Welcome to the Gift and Home channel. I'm Tom Ungrod, and this is part two of operating expenses in your everyday business. I have focused on the smaller expenses, if you will, in the business, and there are many. But really, the focus and the thing that you can control almost on a daily basis are some of your larger expenses. I'm going to point out a few of those, and one I think is the most critical is your payroll. Your payroll is this area on the chart. In our scenario, in our stores, it's about 12% of overall sales. Why do I emphasize payroll? Payroll today has continued to increase. Uh, you can control it. You can look at your daily schedules. We sit with our managers and we go through the schedules. We give them a calculation of how many hours a week they're available for employees to work, and they schedule accordingly. A half hour a day of an unproductive employee will add thousands to your payroll at the end of the year. So you have to account for you if you're on the floor, and you have to account for the payroll. The payroll, again, is 12% in this scenario, and you'll see as part of the pie, it is your largest individual expense other than your rent. Other things that you need to look at. Write your schedules as far in advance as you can, again, giving your employee as much opportunity to tell you when they're going to be off, when they're not going to be off. In our business, we deal with a lot of part-time people. This particular store employs 12 to 15 people, of which two are full-time, not including the store manager. It's the way it is in this business. There's a lot of training involved, etc. But what you need to understand is this can change dramatically. I always tell them in the first nine months of the year, we do everything we can to keep this at a minimal. And then in the month of November, December, wages are cheap. The more people you have on the floor, the more traffic you have in the store, the percent technically goes way down in the month of December because your sales go way up. So as an overall average, 12% is where I think you should be. You could go as high as 15 in a smaller operation. Again, a store like this will do over a million dollars, so you can calculate the difference here. But in our scenario, I think 12% is where you ought to go. The next thing that you need to pay attention to when you start to look into a business is your lease and your rent. Obviously, in today's market, that is a critical, critical factor. First, location, location, location. You want to be in a good, high-traffic location, but you're going to pay to be in that location. You're going to put a plan together, but you're going to sit down with the landlord, and you're going to negotiate a rent factor. Old rule of thumb, 10 to 12% occupancy and what do I mean taxes rent utilities all involved if you cannot exceed potentially 12 let's say 13 percent in your operation you can make a go at it in the gift business that's just something that's always been kind of a rule of thumb in this scenario our rent is 11 percent you'll write leases for a minimum in my opinion of five years we have always made it a habit to write leases for 10 years, maybe a five and a five, a five with a five-year option with a small escalator. You'll pay a little bit more maybe every two or three years through the 10 years. It's going to take you several years to get your feet on the ground, but this is all negotiable, and you need to go in. You need to convince the landlord that your type of operation is very necessary as a blend and a mix to his center, and you need to have professionals go over your leases. Leases in major malls can run 80 to 100 pages. They're always written for them as a beneficiary instead of you. But again, I can't emphasize enough that these two compose nearly 25% of everything you do in your operations. And if you focus on these, I think you'll be in great shape. A couple of other uh, uh, key elements, promotion and advertising. I mentioned earlier that we're in the advertising promotion business as ideation. In our stores, it runs 4%. It can run as high as 5 to 6% in your store. You must continue to remind people where you are, who you are, because in a scenario like we have in our marketplace, 25% of the people move every year. 
we have to keep going back out and telling them who we are. So don't be afraid of this. It's one expense that your accountant will probably tell you, oh, you can cut that first. I highly advise that you allocate a minimum of 3 to 4% and as much as 5 and 6% on your advertising. So I've taken and highlighted some of the major expenses that uh, I think are really critical to, the, uh, to your operations. And uh, certainly feel that sometimes we sit down with our employees and staff and explain this to them so they don't think that every other penny is going into their pocket or into your pocket as an owner. It's a good way to really make sure that you're following the scheme. Thanks for watching. The next segment will be business structures, and we'll tell you how we recommend you structure your business from the beginning.